guys welcome back if you're new welcome thank you so much for stopping by so today I decided I really wanted to play around in one of my newer palettes that I got and the palette that I chose to play around in today is this Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette if I can talk him <laughs> emerald <laughs> Emeroid Obsessions palette. No. It's this Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette. <laughs> this is what I am going to be playing in today. Now, she came out with these palettes, a whole collection of palettes, I think like a few months ago. I know when I first saw the whole collection come out, I was just like, oh, they're so beautiful. I love them. I gotta have them. Yada, yada, yada. And after I stopped and just kind of thought about it for a while and looked at each palette because there is like five different palettes. So one of them is kind of like a warm orangey tone palette. One is a beautiful purple tone palette. One is a gorgeous blue palette. And the other one is a beautiful red palette. So they all have a specific theme and tone to them. And then there was this emerald green palette. Now when I thought about my palette collection, as you guys know, it's out of hand and it's out of control. I said, okay, which palette out of those do I not have shades like? And it would be this one, this beautiful emerald green palette. Now the other palettes, yeah, I have a purple palette, I have a red palette, I have a blue palette, I have an orange palette, so I went with the green, you guys. So. Now these palettes are $27 each, okay, yeah, for this little baby palette, <laughs> it's $27. So it's not a cheap palette, but then again, it is Huda Beauty. Now, the only real experience I have with Huda Beauty shadows is her new nudes palette that she just came out with. I do have a couple of other Huda Beauty palettes. So I am actually really excited about trying out this Emerald Obsessions palette. For one, I love green. I love green on the eyes and I'm hoping that I can create something kind of cute with this, you guys. So let me just give you a closer look. So this is what the palette looks like up close, you guys. So it looks like there are actually six shimmer shades in here and only three mattes to work with. So let's go ahead and just put this puppy to the test and try and create a nice eyeshadow look today. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and start out with some swatches first because I'm not exactly sure what I wanna do. So let me do some swatches for you guys. palette swatched you guys it looks very very pretty I'm still not exactly sure what I want to do today you guys but I think I want to try and use quite a few shadows from this palette today okay you guys so as usual to set my eyelids today I'm going to use my Mac paint pot and this is in the color soft ochre done my face today so I'm hoping that there's not too much fallout from this palette because if so I'm gonna have green shadow all over my face and I haven't really been setting my base lately but for some reason I want to set my base today so I'm going to use my elf HD powder just to set my base Okay, so I think the first shade I'm gonna go into is this super light green shade right here. Very, very light. And this palette doesn't have any names on it, so I'm gonna have to just point <laughs> to the color. And this is a very, very light color. <laughs> very pigmented okay whatever y'all gonna go on this ride with me okay y'all are gonna go on this green ride right along with me well if you had any concerns whether or not this 
mint chocolate chip shade would show up on dark skin. <laughs> don't, don't, uh, don't wonder no more, okay? Oh my goodness. Okay, let me move on to another shade because this just done got totally out of hand. <sighs> Already, I'm only one shade in. Okay, <laughs> so let me take this green shade here. Very, very pretty matte green shade. Let's see if we can't tone down this mint chocolate chip <laughs> look I got going on so that's kind of like a teal green shade very pretty I think with these colors being so pigmented, it's probably a good idea that I did set my lid with that powder because I feel like if I would have left it tacky, it would have been even harder for me to blend these colors out. I'm not trying to spend all night blending out these blues and greens on my eyes. I know it's looking a little crazy right now, you guys, but don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna get my act together. <laughs> I got quite a few more shades in here. Okay, so just, just hold on. Okay, I think I'm going to go into this really pretty like army type green here. It's a little bit darker, so I'm gonna use that to deepen my crease. Well, hell, it ain't that dark. Okay, so now I'm going to go into this dark shimmer shade here. And I'm going to place that in my outer corner and drag it in a little bit. Okay, it's darker. <laughs> So I think I'm going to leave the inner portion of my lower lash line until I figure out what I want to do with my lid. So I really want to go into this really, really pretty light, light green shimmer shade here and place that on my lid. And I think I'm going to try it without wetting my brush first. It looks more like a light glitter without my brush being wet. So let me go ahead and pick up some more and then spray my brush. Okay, that's better. It's pretty, but it is still a bit crumbly. I think it's probably like some of the really chunky glitters that Huda Beauty is known for, so if you don't really like these chunky glitters, then you might not like this. Cause it's chunky, honey. <laughs> it's chunky, but it's pretty. Like, dang, is it supposed to look like that? <laughs> is this supposed to look like that? Mm. Y'all wanna see what this color looks like? I'll put a little bit of this on the center of my lid. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to spray again. So let me just get a little bit of this. Spray. That's pretty. Y'all can't say I'm not giving y'all no holiday looks, okay? Because if this ain't a holiday look, I don't know what is. Okay, so now I am going to go ahead and add some of that gold shimmer on my inner lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some liner and mascara and finish the rest of my face and I will come back and tell you my thoughts on this palette. Okay, you guys, I went ahead and finished the rest of my face and put on my mascara and eyeliner. And my basic thoughts on this palette is I really like it. I like it. It is a very specific palette, of course, with these beautiful greens in here. Um, as you can see, <laughs> I did beat up the glittery shimmery shadows a bit in the pan you can see there i had to kind of dig in there to get out a decent amount and definitely sprayed my brush to place it on my lids because 
those shimmers and glitters are very chunky I have glitter all over my face <laughs> I'm sure if I take a picture with a flash I'm gonna light up like a crystal ball but I think this palette is really pretty I mean this this look that I did okay it might be a little over the top you guys it might be a little over the top but I like it I like it okay it's different it's something you know if you do want to go a little bit over the top it's nice to kind of be a little dramatic sometimes when you go out at night you know to a party or a dance or an event or something because once the lights do hit your eyes if the room is a little dim you know it brings out that little extra pizzazz or whatever you know it draws the attention to your eyes and really shows what you have going on up there so anywho with that being said even though this is a very dramatic look I like it <laughs> and I do like this palette I, I mean as you guys saw these shades are very very pigmented I mean I didn't expect that light 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 teal type shade to be so bright on my eyes and all the other shadows were true to the color that's in the pan my suggestion would be if you do pick up these palettes or use these palettes do your face last do your eyes first do your face last because if you do use any of these glitters and shimmers even if you wet your brush they still move a bit and so they are going to get on your face so that's just my overall thoughts on this palette you guys I like it <laughs> I do I like it I'm glad I picked this one because this one is very unique to my collection like I said all the other ones I pretty much have palettes with those color schemes but not this one and I will be honest you guys another reason why I decided to go with this palette and to play around with this color scheme is because you know Melt Cosmetics came out with their latest marijuana palette or whatever and I kind of low-key really wanted that palette because those eyeshadows look really pretty and although this is not a dupe or the exact same shades that are in that palette I do kind of still get the same vibe and the same feel from this palette as I do when I look at the swatches from that Melt palette or Melt Cosmetics palette so you know low-key I did kind of want to play around in greens like everybody else so that's it you guys with all that being said I like this palette it can get messy is it worth $27 it's debatable <laughs> I mean it's a nice quality palette but you know whatever so those are my thoughts on this Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette that I tried out today hopefully you guys had some fun hanging out with me watching me try it out and hear my thoughts on this palette so thank you so much for watching you guys and i will see you on my next video toodles <laughs>